Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am Florida Boy, and yep, you guessed it. This is my channel. You made it. You're here. Welcome. <laughs> so, uh, today's video, I'm not 100% sure what to expect, so we are going to go ahead and just jump into it. This is another flashlight from Tucson. Let's get into it. All right, so rolling back to the part, not really sure what to expect. Um, you know, this is, I'm just gonna move this over so I can open it. Uh, this is a, another Tucson flashlight. I don't know if the video I did is live yet. Um, I have another Tucson flashlight video that I recorded. I, uh, I don't think it goes live today. Um, but yeah, so they sent me a flashlight already and it was oh this is a this is a big box uh ooh, that's a nice box very nice um i'll go ahead and pull it out where uh maybe maybe oh there it is so this is my first tucson flashlight and uh i've got it fixed look at that um so yeah, I, this was this was my first one and came in, it was rattling, it was loose. I messaged them, they refunded half the money back. I only spent 20 bucks on it, so it really wasn't bad for a titanium milled flashlight. But um, yeah, it wasn't working. So I had it sitting there and I was like, what am I gonna do with it? So I took the head apart. Uh, all, it, all it is is whenever you take this off, you have a retaining ring, see that copper retaining ring? Took that out, took everything out of there. Um, it looked like the copper or the, the little brass connector there had like some corrosion on it. So I took that off um, with wire brush, kind of put everything back together, snugged it down, and it works. So it, yeah, it works now. Interesting. So very, very good. So then I decided I needed more Tucson flashlights. So this one is going to be interesting. Um, this one, looking at the photos online, uh, this is a copper and titanium flashlight. And uh, I'm nervous, but also very, very excited. So uh, yeah, let's, let's check it out. Oh, that's a big flashlight. <laughs> and it's got no pocket clip. Oh, God. Oh, man. It's like a baton. The packaging is very nice, though. The packaging is very nice. This this is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, that's that's a monster. That's cool. Uh, we've got a micro USB charging cable for. Okay, we'll we'll figure that out in a second. Um, let's. Let's let's try to stick to the stick to the script. Stick to the script. Uh, this thing comes in at a whopping five and a half inches, just thereabouts, um, and with no battery installed, we are at. Well, well, don't roll away. Eight, <laughs> eight point one. Yeah, eight point one ounces. So this is yeah, no battery. Yeah, no battery installed. Um, this is a heavy boy and judging by the looks of it I'm gonna guess 18650s um, or an 18650 this is cool though copper and titanium very very interesting yes interesting yes I've also got another Tucson flashlight um, let's see here where do you come apart at comes apart on the back the tail switch there we go Everything looks good. I do not hear rattle, so I am very, very pleased. Uh, let me grab um, here. Hold on. Hold up. Hold up. Bow, bow, bow. All right. So I've got my little, this is my EDC kit that I just carry around from day to day. Ah, there we go. Tucson flashlight. So all I'm doing now is I'm just gonna slip a battery in this guy. 
I'm thinking 18650 and probably this way. You got power? You got power. Okay. <laughs> Groovy. Oop, sorry. I didn't mean to hit you guys. Um, all right, Groovy. We're back in action. So that means I have no idea what this is for. I don't know why they included a micro USB cable. I mean, I'm not complaining, but weird. All right. So real fast um, for ye old Tucson flashlight collectors, because I know they're out there. Here is a Tucson flashlight. And here is a Tucson flashlight. They don't really have names that I'm aware of. So uh, we are not using names. Because, just because. So next, we'll go ahead and move these out of the way. So next, let's go ahead and look at a couple of Olights. So here we go. We've got the i5T. So you can actually see how monstrous this thing is. Here is the i3T. And we will move on up to the Arkfeld. This is the first generation. This is the bigger one. And we'll go to the Baton 3 Pro. So yeah, you can see monster of a flashlight. And last but not least, well actually I'll do one more because I, I have one more that I want to do. That's the Warrior Mini. Two more. Two more. <laughs> Sorry, I had to roll backwards. My, uh, my safe is behind me that has like all my goodies in it. Not all of them, but most of them. So here is your Warrior 3S. Yeah, that's that's what I wanted to grab. I was thinking that would be close. We'll also do a Javelot Mini. There you go. So that gives you an idea, like size-wise. This is a big flashlight, big flashlight. Um, I, I kind of, whenever I, <sighs> big flashlights are weird, okay? Um, especially for me, because whenever I get a flashlight this big, I want to see output. Or either give me output or give me really, really long run times. Um, you know, if it's not, if it's something where it's going to put out minimal amounts of light, uh, it should have extra long run times. Sorry, I was getting some of the stuff out of my way because I was getting overcrowded. Um, yeah, so I want to see, I want to see maximum output if that is the scenario. So let's look a little bit more at the flashlight copper and titanium and i saw a maker's mark uh is that just the tucson mark that might just be the tucson mark possibly i don't see any other branding the only branding is on the back what is what is on tucson blades um no negative okay yeah so there is there is a mark on the back but that might that might just be the Tucson makers mark I, I don't know um, I'm new to the Tucson thing so uh, looks like the head does come off too so it could be a slightly customizable light uh, I am not sure if button on the back is titanium might be so yeah we might have a titanium button there on the back I doubt it's aluminum so it's definitely not stainless steel so that is cool I was just using my little Rovi Vaughn I recently did a video <laughs> so you can see we have a smooth reflector on the inside there is a dome yes domed LED in there and the milling on the titanium looks really really nice it is rather aggressive uh, in, so, you know, funny thing about this flashlight is this is just an unboxing, right? So, um, I haven't got to do a lot of research on this guy yet, uh, because I won this on an eBay auction. I've been waiting for it for a while to come in from, from China. I did not, like I said, I did not know it was going to be this big, but I will tell you that this flashlight, um, they sell for like a hundred dollars or so. But I won an eBay auction, and I think I got it straight from Tucson for like $40 or $50. So I think I got a pretty good deal. So let's go ahead and hear how this button sounds. Here you go, if you want to hear it. Not very loud, which is okay. 
and we'll go ahead and fire it up right here oh nice we have a pretty uh we have a pretty nice led on here see that's pretty high that's pretty high cri um if we put up my baton 3 pro or baton yeah baton 3 pro everybody's got all this light nowadays um we'll put this guy on high and here is the tucson on high I actually like the color temperature. I think I think this is a pretty high CRI light. It's got a nice emitter. Let's see here, we'll crack it down to low. Same thing with the, we'll just go to low. Look at my hands, see the difference in color? Somewhat, there you go. So I do like the beam. The beam is pretty tight. We do have a little bit of spill, um, but you have very, very rounded edges of that beam which is nice you can definitely see i mean we could almost draw a perfect little circle around this whereas the olight we do have some spill and some blending on the edges so it makes it kind of hard to do something like that so the emitter of this light is very very nice um not a ton of output though not a ton of output and if you're new to tucson flashlight sorry i was getting the strobe off the screen you only have three modes and they're very very easy to access all it is is click 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 uh, holding does nothing for you. Um, yeah, basically that's basically that's what it is. So what I'm going to do now is cycle through the modes. It goes high, medium, and then strobe. I will probably take all of about 10 or 15 seconds on this, including the strobe. So strobe warning, skip past this about 20, 30 seconds. Uh, so first what we're going to do is go ahead and hit the high mode and I'm, I'm loving the beam pattern. Beam pattern is very, very nice. So here is your high mode, and that was with a single click. So to get to low, all we're gonna do is click, click. Now we're on low, or medium, whatever you'd wanna brand it as. And then if we do two more clicks, we're gonna go straight to strobe. So one, two, and there's your strobe. And it looks like it is strobing on high, and now we're back to high. And all that is is click, low, strobe, high, medium strobe that's all there is they're very very easy to operate so this light at a hundred dollars me uh, at a hundred bucks you'd be buying it for the construction um, yeah at a hundred dollars this is strictly construction purchase this is okay this is a copper and titanium flashlight I will pay a hundred dollars uh, because it is definitely not a performance flashlight uh, which is okay I mean uh, a big miss I think we have here is there is no signs of a pocket clip. Uh, that's a pretty big miss. But it looks like we have some, you know, this, these little milled out sections. You could probably find a pocket clip that would work for this flashlight. I mean, realistically, it probably would not be that hard. Um, the Warrior 3S is a pretty good size flashlight and it comes with a pocket clip i mean hell you could probably even take pocket clips like this and just kind of retrofit like look there you go uh that would probably work good enough for most people just having a pocket clip off the warrior 3s um it is a little bit chunkier than the 3s so this is probably just gonna bend the pocket clip but it's holding pretty sturdy pretty steady I guess I should have said that's actually quite a bit of an improvement just adding the warrior 3s as pocket clip um, I could get down with that I wish it would be you know if it was a different color or different anything would make it a little bit better but um, maybe a copper colored or a silver one would look better on this light I'm not gonna leave this on there because he already has a home but uh, this, yeah, so um, that I think is a miss for this flashlight. Look, that's probably all bent out now. <laughs> oh, no, held its edge just fine. So, yeah, so you could use the Warrior 3S pocket clip, and that would be a nice fit. Yeah. So I think that's a miss. I think the high output is a miss because it uh, doesn't have high output. I also don't see anything to tell me what the output is, at least on the eBay listing. Um, the beam is nice just shining it around the room here in the darkness of dark uh, It's not too bad uh, mediocre at best um, I like I said this is more of a designer fashion style flashlight and um, I'll buy it for that reason <laughs> Not at a hundred dollars. Probably I probably would have winced a little if I spent a hundred bucks and this came in 
um, just because of a couple of the things it's lacking. I think it makes up for it being that it's an 18650. Um, it would have been nice to get a 21700 in, in this guy with the size of this barrel. Uh, if I grab a 21700 from behind me, there you go. You can see that it's not going to happen. Just just not not going to get there. Everything else is very nice, though. The, uh, the threads are very well machined. Uh, you've got O-rings, so I'm guessing IPX6 to IPX8 rating. Somewhere around there is going to be where she's sitting. And everything on the back side of this guy looks very, very good. No loose parts, which is nice. Um, yeah, I think, I think overall this is a nice flashlight. I think you're better off going on eBay and waiting for one of them to become available for bidding. Um, because I, I've been looking, I've been looking for the opportunity to bid on one for a while and, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't just pop up all the time. So I had to be patient. They do have some on there for sale all the time, but like I said, that's going to run you like a hundred bucks. So unless the performance and kind of what this light is, you know, and representation wise, uh, makes you want to spend a hundred, then you can go over there. Absolutely. And just pick one up for a hundred bucks. But, um, I would say wait for an auction so you can bid and um, maybe maybe get a better deal on it. I think I, I spent just shy of fifty. I think and I think I think this light is absolutely worth about fifty bucks. Uh, that, I would I would say something like this. It's it's so hard because of the construction materials. Um, God, I wish they would have just included a pocket clip. Just just that one thing would have made this so much better. A titanium clip would have been super cool. But I understand why they didn't do a titanium clip. But it does have spots for clips. I mean, that, that's that got to be what this machining right here is for. At least, at least they had that in mind, I believe. Might be giving them too much credit. Oh, well. Um, I like it. Not maybe not for a hundred dollars i'm gonna have to take it outside and do some beam shots with it um just kind of play around with it for a little bit and see kind of see what i think so um ah uh, you know what i wasn't going to let's 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 just go do some beam shots let's uh let, let's run out there and do that real fast all right so we were gonna go after it with this i didn't i didn't really plan on doing this but uh yeah we're we're going to because i just wanted to see what this thing could do so here you go We've got him out here. Let me turn this down just a hair. We've got him out here, ready to rock and roll. So let's see what she can do. Yes. Yeah, that is a that is a very very nice beam. Looks good. And then if we do uh, one click, there we go. We go into low mode. Um, this light is definitely very much a spotlight, which seems pretty nice. looks like it has pretty good throw. I'm going to guess it's because it's got a pretty, pretty decent CRI. So, um, second light we're going to use, probably can't see it very well, but this is the, uh, small titanium two sun that I had to kind of had to fix. So he's going to be on the left. Here you go. That's on high. Here's the big two sun on the right. That's on high. And if you haven't seen any of my videos before, the fence out there at the very edge of the lot is about 35 yards. So pretty decent just to test throw on flashlights. So there's your high mode. We'll step them both down to low mode. And actually performance really isn't that great over the small lights. Um, not like I, you know, that's kind of about what I figured, but it's definitely not what I was hoping it would be. Uh, so next, oops, just flashed myself. Next, we're going to try the Tucson, the pin light. So we're going to go ahead and give this a shot. So we're going to start them both off on high, the pin light on the left and the big boy on the right. Now the pin light runs on two AAAs, so I didn't think this would be very close. 
it's up and down. And there's your low modes. And we'll have uh, strobe warning about to about to strobe. So the third mode is the strobe. So you can see the difference there. Um, yeah, this light, this light's not too bad. Um, I'm I'm cool with it for about fifty bucks. I'm I'm glad I didn't spend a hundred bucks on it. Uh, definitely a cool light to have just to use to kind of go outside if you ever need to walk to like the mailbox or something. But it's definitely not something you're gonna want to carry. Uh, it's got two modes. You have to cycle through strobe. Uh, the only thing I've noticed so far is if you use low or medium and then you wait like 30 seconds to a couple minutes, I don't know the exact time, uh, then it won't strobe. It'll just go back to the high mode, which is the first setting. So they don't come with any kind of instructions or anything. So I'm just kind of left to try to figure it out myself. Um, let's just go ahead and do one more comparison. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, let's go ahead and do one more comparison, Baton 3 Pro. Uh, my alarm went off for whatever reason. So, Baton 3 Pro, and we'll just go ahead and bounce it up to high, just so you can see the difference. So, our turbo, excuse me. So, Baton 3 Pro on turbo, and here's that new Tucson right here. So, you can definitely see tighter beam pattern on the Tucson, uh, Baton 3 Pro has a little bit of spill, kind of a more of a floody light, um, but still it does cover a wider area. So it definitely holds its own and I think it was worth the 50 bucks. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get back to the table. So overall, I think, I think this is a decent light. I really do. I think it's decent. I think it's a little bit pricey, but um, you know, a lot of those expensive custom lights, they don't have a very, very, very high output. It's more about construction, but um, it's also about customization. And I don't know the customization of this, you know, the customization ability of this light yet. It's going to have to be something I look into. So we'll see. We'll find out. Um, overall, I think it's I think it's a pretty good light. I think for what I paid, I'm happy. Um, I I don't really have a link to put in the description below. Like I said, I found it on eBay. Uh, two suns kind of here or there where you can order stuff from them from I, I have good luck on eBay So that's where I picked that up from I like it. I dig it uh, pocket clips a negative um, But everything else is kind of okay size is okay. I don't mind the size. It's not not that big of a deal LED the CRI looks nice. It looks like it's good high quality LED. So I'm happy with it I know I keep saying I'm just kind of affirming my purchase at this point, <laughs> but I am happy with it I like it. I think it's nice <laughs> It just had a couple little misses. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing I post pretty much every day. And I think I have done like every day for a while now <laughs> um, Also, I don't ever 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 say this um, follow me on Instagram uh, definitely, I got a link down in the description below. Uh, head on over to the Instagram and show show your boy some love over there. My Instagram is kind of like flailing in the water with no hope, so I need some help. <laughs> um, anyways, guys, I appreciate you so much. I'll catch you on the next one.